Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris here, and this is the second episode to making Rainbow Six Siege characters in Ghost Recon Wildlands. So we're going to start with uh, the GSG-9 for this one, and we're starting with Blitz. And you don't have to worry about the head or body details uh, with the tops. I just went with the gray jacket, gray hoodie I should say, uh, like he wears in Siege. The heavy IBA vest, because that's what he rocks. Uh, jeans, the neutral color with no knee pads, and then the sneakers. Now you do have to get the sneakers from a pack in the store, but uh, with uh, the mask, I went with the one hole, because that's what they rock. Uh, I went with the fast ballistic helmet and the headset A, uh, the Oakley Pilot gloves, the camelback, and of course the, the German flag, but uh, with that helmet, you know, it's, they don't have the helmet uh, in Wildlands that they do in Siege, so for all these operators for the GSG-9, I'm rocking that fast helmet with the headset and it kind of gives it the closest look. And I believe the GSG-9 have the P12, so there you go. There is Blitz. Next we are doing IQ. Uh, again, don't have to worry about the head or body details. Uh, again, she rocks a hoodie in the gray color. She has just the regular IBA vest without the shoulders, jeans, but uh, no, no knee pads on the jeans. Uh, the sneakers, she has those like bright purple sneakers, but they don't have that, so I just went with the blue. Again, the one hole face mask, the fast ballistic helmet, uh, the headset. She has the fingerless gloves, the camelback to hide that there's no backpack, and then of course the German flag for her as well. Now I. Uh, this is a new character, so I don't have anything really unlocked for her, but they do have the AUG. Uh, they don't have the 552, so you can rock the AUG though if you get it unlocked and you want to rock uh, IQ. And there you go. So next we'll do the defenders. We're going to start with Jaeger. Uh, so again with Jaeger, no need for you know head or body details because it's masked anyways. I don't have to worry about tattoos because he wears long sleeves and he has like a green hoodie on in Siege so that's what I went with. The vest, he, he rocks like the molly vest, not really the attack plate so I went with that one in the tan. Uh, again jeans and sneakers, no, no knee pads, uh, they all pretty much rock the same thing. Uh, I wear, he has the visor down so I just gave him the biggest ballistic goggles possible and then again the one hole mask. Uh, the fast ballistic helmet and the headset and that to me was like the closest thing I could do for Jaeger um, he does use the Oakley pilot gloves in the black and then again just a black camel back because they don't wear backpacks in siege and again the uh, German flag now the only thing they really have uh, that matches for Jaeger you have the P416 and the super shoddy which is a short shotgun so there's Jaeger looks pretty pretty good for what we can do with uh, with Wildlands and now we'll go ahead and do uh, Bandit as you can see already kinda similar he was the hardest one to do just because of the long sleeve shirt that he wears in that game so I just went with the green hoodie because uh, you can see that green hood part that really stands out. Uh, I went with the Molly vest, same as uh, same as Jaeger. Uh, again, jean sneaks, one hole mask, fast ballistic helmet. You got the headset. Um, so again, the Oakley Pilots, the Camelback to, to kind of hide a backpack, and then the German flag. So as you can see, they all kind of look similar to each other, and uh, they're not spot on. Does have the E, uh, the MP7, and the Super Shotty for this though. And there you have it. That is the GSG9 in Wildlands. Uh, go ahead and comment below for which faction I should do next time. Thanks.